I'm Kate and welcome back. Um, I am now one week post-surgery. I still have my beautiful surgical stockings on, um, but I'm here to take you through the exercises that I was given by my breast care nurse and also the leaflet that was given to me um, that is from Breast Cancer Care, which is a great leaflet, which if you're not given it um, at the point of surgery, then you can actually access it via their website um, on download or you can get a physical copy as well. So they're great exercises. You can do them straight after your surgery. Um, so the day after surgery is a great time to start just to get to know where you are. Again, it's that getting to know how you're feeling and, and where you are with it. So my surgery was a full mastectomy on my left hand side and also a full axilla clearance of the lymph nodes as well. So I've got a lovely scar going from the center of my sternum all the way up to here. So there's a little, <laughs> it's a little line of steri strips which is keeping me stuck together at the moment. Um, but as the surgeon says, you're not going to bust those stitches, Kate. So you can get on with what, whatever you feel is right for you. And that's the way to look at it. It is doing what you can do and understanding your limits. So one of the most important things to think about when you are actually doing any rehab is what your pain levels are, especially straight after surgery. So if you think about pain, zero being no pain at all, 10 being the worst pain in the world, we never really want to go past five when we're in the rehab stage because we can push ourselves backwards from there. So five, it'll be a, a little bit of a stretch, a little bit uncomfortable, but it won't be painful. If it goes past a five, all you're doing is actually making yourself more work for another day. So only go up to about level five on, on pain and just understand what your body's telling you. And if it's too much, just do a little at a time and don't do too much. So the day after surgery is when we should start moving. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time for our muscles and our joints to start seizing after surgery. So the more we move, the better it is. I feel I move better with music, but everybody's different. So you choose how you want to move. If you want a bit of background music, however you want to do it. So three times a day, so a session in the morning, session at lunchtime and session at dinner time is a great way to look at it. And it means that you get into a sort of routine of doing it. When you're looking at the amounts of exercises you're doing, I would say upwards of five, um, but again, see how it feels. So if it feels too much, lower the numbers. If it feels, you know, it's a little bit easy, then up the numbers and, and just actually see if you can accentuate the movement a little bit more. So we're gonna start with the exercises um, and when you're ready, you advance. So these are the exercises that are given in the booklet and I'll show you the booklet. I'll bring it closer for you. So that's the booklet that we were given. This is from Breast Cancer Care, Breast Cancer Support Charity. Um, as I say, it is available from your breast care nurses, but if they don't have a copy, then you can actually get this from their website and yeah, download it. I'm going to start off by just gently warming up the shoulders by just doing some really gentle shoulder strokes. Now, what you'll notice is my right hand side, so this side, is managing to come up a little higher than my left hand side. And that is because of the restriction of the steri strips and the um, post-surgery. So we're just doing a couple of those. Then I'm going to just turn to the side. We're going to do shoulder rolls. Now I find these a lot more easy when I'm actually thinking about moving my elbows as well. So it's a really nice way of going forwards and backwards. You can get those shoulders moving and rolling. But sometimes it's actually easier to get them to do it by actually saying, oh, I'm just going to move my elbows. It's like a little bit of a train. You think about a train going backwards, that gets the shoulders moving nicely. And forwards. There we go. So that's really nice and easy just to, to warm it up. Again, I don't count, so I just do what I feel is, is right for my body. Um, one of the things we did on prehab was the back scratch, so getting your hands behind you so you can put jump, uh, jumpers, jackets and uh, cardigans on. So I'm just going to turn around again for you and we're going to try that now. We're going to take one arm up at a time. So I, because of my prehab practice, this is actually quite nice and easy. It's not going to be easy for everyone. So 
Think about how you can actually bring the arm around and even if it's just bringing that arm around to the back, that is absolutely fine. So we'll do that on the other side as well. But even if we're bringing the arm from the front of the body to the back of the body, actually just getting used to that movement is really good. So don't worry if we can't get to the mid back. Remember, every piece of movement is helping you. So another um, exercise that's in the breast cancer care book is you're bringing your elbows up. I'll bring them to the side for you. So almost straight from the shoulder, or that really does depend on how that is feeling. And we're just going to drop the arms down and bring it up and drop them down and bring them back up. So again, if you can only get to midway at the moment, when you first start, that's absolutely fine. Just think about where that restriction is. How does it feel? Is it painful? If it's painful, you stop. If it's just stretching, then that's absolutely fine. Another way of doing it is you can drop them out to the side and give it a little bit of a circle. So activating the muscle here as well as just giving it a little bit of a gentle stretch and mobilisation through the shoulder. And again, we can come inwards. That's it. We can also bring the arms, which is a little bit more difficult, stretching that surgery site. There we go. Little waving. Always good. Okay, so there are lovely exercises that you can do with the range of movement ones that we introduced last time. Um, one of the ones that is a little bit more advanced and maybe week two, week three post-surgery is the overhead reach. Now, if you remember on prehab, I could quite easily bring the arm up. Now, this is the difference when you have surgery. This is as far as I can go at the moment and that's fine it is at the moment i'm going to work on it don't you don't you worry but this is as far as i can go without any pressure or pain but it will get better and remember you can use the other arm to help it as well so if you can use the other arm to just gently lift and lower another lovely way of getting that stretch and preparing for that stretch is um, the wall climb now this one, I'm just going to turn, pretend, I'm going to do a little, a little bit of mime, miming here. Pretend I have a wall against my hands here. And what we're going to do is walk the hands up that wall and back down. So the reason I'm, I'm actually moving my fingers here as well is again, it's a little bit of distraction to my arm and to my chest. When I'm moving my fingers, I'm thinking about moving my fingers so I can actually get a little bit higher and back down. So I'm going to turn around and show you that from the other side, so from my affected side. And you'll be able to see that I don't get quite as high, so I'm going to try and give you a pretense of a wall. There's the wall. And we're going to come up. Again. Just gradually, right arm, I can go a lot higher. Left arm, the same, Ooh, not quite yet. But again, you can, you can do as you, you do when your children are growing up. You can mark on the, on the wall how far you get, um, just remembering that the husband's got to paint it later. Um, so it's another lovely exercise to show how you can actually get a little bit further. I'll do it from the front. So again, that right hand side's happy to go up. That left hand side's a little bit more reticent. But just take your time with both of them. And distract with the fingers, it really does help. Um, one that I found really, really difficult, which I didn't think I was going to find difficult, is bringing the elbows together, which we did on the, the um, range of movement video. So I'm going to bring my arms up and before, if you looked at the prehab video, I could get both elbows together really, really easily. Now with all of this stitching, I can get my right arm in, my left arm again, not a happy bunny. 
but we are going to just gently push to that stretch, listening to that body, not into pain, gently into the stretch and release. So as we're up here, we're going to see if we can, again, touch the back of our head, touch the top of our head, back of our head, and a really nice one just to stretch that pectoral is opening up through the elbows. Now you can do this one on the floor as well, but again with this one it's quite a powerful stretch so just be very gentle with it to start with to see how you feel with it. Now I'm going to go through a couple of things um, that I did on the prehab video, so the bow and arrow which you know is my favourite. So this one, I know I can bring my arms up to here and that's no problem at all. So I'm just going to draw back, right hand side nice and easy. But always check both sides because you know what your range of movement can be then on both sides. So effective side, hands are out in front, I'm going to draw back. It's not quite as, as far as it was, but we're getting a nice active stretch out of that and it will help when you're pulling doors as well. Okay, and then the, one of my favorites, the last one, which is chicken wings. So with this one, I'm going to go to hands on the elbows, <laughs> hands on the elbows, hands on the hips. That is definitely a general anesthetic and a chemo brain kicking in there, I apologize. So with the hands on the hips, there is the more difficult one of the hands on the, on the back of the hips, but that one's what I know is gonna to be too much for me today. So I'm going to draw those elbows back, so drawing back and pulling forward. So you're getting a nice stretch through the upper back as well. So you're pulling forward. So again, listening to the surgery site. How does it feel? How do you feel? And drawing it forward and back, coming back to centre. So a few of the exercises there that are given by Breast Cancer Care. A um, few of my own range of movement exercises as well. Um, as I say, just take your time with everything that you do. Remember, everybody is different and everybody's range of movement is different. It depends on, on you and you alone. So just listen to that body. Never go above a pain scale of five. And if there's any pain or swelling or um, range of movement or signs of infection, then please do contact your breast care nurse who will be very, very happy to advise you. Hope that's been helpful and we'll see you in about four weeks when I'll have my little video helper and we'll do some floor work as well. Thank you very much.